be determined. I've seen lots of uh, positive signs of life from Big Clan's T sides on Mirage, and I believe that's where they start, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, big on the right-hand side of your screens in the baby poop brown, NIP in the CT blue. And off the break, you see four members going towards the B and mid Wait, side. There's a deagle on the Kida. Spawn. That is a deagle on the pistol, and there's only one purpose for that, and that's a CT fight. He's getting what he wanted. Reveals the deagle. Deters Hampus. They've got smoke on Tizzy. And it's going to bloom towards Connector. A second smoke towards CT, perhaps, and they can get that bomb down. It's actually a molly towards jungle. You can see how that's denied Nork. And Searson can push on that space that's been taken. Perfect use of their utility here. What a promising pistol from Pig. Well, they've re-smoked Connector as well, so clear intention to control that area of the map, and Searson's forced forward into window. Nork, that's an important frag. He's going to have to find more, though. This is an important duel. Tabson trying to make his uh, statement of intent here on the pistol round of Mirage. He's walking through the smoke into Rez. Seriously, Rez. Oh, that's such a shame. He suspected it. Nork's very low. Twister's got the health to at least try and get on the bomb, but Tabson denies any sort of funny business. Three kills in the end from Tabson. We watched as he danced around the smoke using Connector after theirs fades. That was a double smoke. That just shaves 30 seconds off and you're planting in it. It's huge stuff there. And I want everybody to keep their eyes on Keto here. He was a bit of a monster yesterday in a uh, big win that Big had over Ents. Seems to be one of his more comfortable maps, and that makes sense. I remember Keto back uh, even when I was still playing in the FPL days, and I even played a bit of FPLC after I retired, and he was around those realms. I got to... That was four years ago now, so what the bloody hell am I talking about? But it's good to see him in the server. And that is a nice shot. Jesus, Rez, that shot, one bullet, one headshot, and that's going to force Big forward straight onto the side they go. Absin and Rez. Jewel continues. He's actually found himself space on A. God, Twist, lucky to be alive. He actually gets taken down to one HP. Plopsky wanted to deny the plant, but the stairs are being watched, especially now as he unloads some bullets from them. This is tough for the NIP. You might want to consider an awkward save or just cutting noise for an extended period of time. Kito's under pressure. Plopsky wants to push in, and yeah, that's a double death. Nork's only got himself a, a nade and a Desert Eagle missing his first chance and tags him up. Maybe the nade could dunk him. That'll do. It's a good finish. Yeah, exactly. And maybe one more possible as he reacts nicely to Zentara's swing for the bullet. Just not quite lethal enough. Two to zero, Big Clan. Get off to the start they need. And I'm, when I say Big Clan, I should really say Tabson. Uh, he's got seven kills in two rounds. That's one way to make sure you convert the pistol. One of the things that we have noticed with NIP over some of their games is they don't always opt in with the full buys on their CT forces. They will always leave a little bit of residual cash, and it means that they can stay uh, deadly on back-to-back -back rounds. Once again, we can see Deagles for Nork and Rez, Twist with the P250 and a nade, Plopsky actually opting for a Zeus, and he's in an interesting position to use that. Hampus with a CZ going to mount up towards the balcony right now. Might be able to get a kill because Sirius and he's third forward. He's actually dead, so that might bait them into a false sense of security. But meanwhile, they're waterfalling out Palace onto A. Plopsky, this is a chance. The USP is good for it too. Can he find more? He's under scrutiny right now. Molotov's good. It's going to flush him into the open, and he's eventually dealt with the rotation from NIPs oh, here. And the they're doing it. Great shooting. Great shooting. Some amazing stuff. Just as at Eagles, they didn't invest. And Big Clan, that's the first slip up. They find the banana skin drop by the ninjas in pajamas. And now just a little bump on their rainbow road. Well, they're going to force by back. So Deagles for Keto. You got Scout for Cirrus and Makes Sense. AK and Galil for Zentaras and Tizian and Tabson has a Deagle as well. Utility a bit sparing and NIP have been able to get a really nice buy looking off the back of that pistol victory. Alt for Nork now. Rez as well over towards connected with an AK-47. Plopsky rocking at Org. Flashed off the line. Rez will have to reconsider his pick right here. The only one towards middle right now as NIP are playing quite the passive setup. Nork's actually using that AWP towards Ticket, so he's going to have no viability towards middle right now unless he jumps up on top and swings towards Connector, but so far, so good. Bigger taking their time. Four members with that mid-control. Tabson actually has the bomb, and he's the one the most further forward, maybe baiting in a rotation here just by showing that. Tizzy towards B-Apps. There's no one watching A whatsoever, but there's no aggression from NIPS. 
this stage is up towards Cat. They go and Zantara is leading the charge. Smoke blooms. Tag is good. Hito down to 18. It's clear they're going for a B split now. Pushing up. Looking for a line of sight in. Plopsky's got a perfect weapon for his job and tabs and getting control of window. They backed away. Yeah, he found the entry. Ampus has been caught as well. Tabson winning this round single-handed. It seems the man is on a mission. Tucked in, double kill. The only casualties caused by the German star. Bombs down thanks to Keto, and Tizian's already heading towards the B apps to punish. He wants to stop this save. And you know what this means. Don't forget, NIP just won a round off Deagles. Saving these are integral. If they can get any damage, which they are intending to do, Oh, look at that shooting gallery for Searson. Which one do you want to pick, mate? You saw two at least. They're locked in. Bigger starting to chase now. You can see more pieces of the puzzle moving on the radar. They're actually going to boost Tabson up. And as he's got two in this round, why not give him a couple more? It's Searson to get boosted with the scout, seeing what he can find. They may as well go for this. Have a look for whatever kills you can. Twist is very low, trying to hide in plain sight. The nades now. Norkel find Tabson, dropping down, picking up the AK. They're not going to force forward. Actually allowing NIP to save those three rifles. Rez and Hampus do have enough residual because of that low buy win to buy again. So it's not the world, end of the world for NIP, but would have been if they had lost some of those guns. And we've stabilized here the scoreline three to one. Big and look very good. That was all off the back of Tabson's window control. Simple as you like. You love it when you can win around in that fashion. Seriously, will be holding on to a scout to continue forward. Couldn't get himself an AWP just yet. Can be deadly with that if you haven't seen him. There's a couple of highlights out there of him destroying his opponents with the baby orb. Early utility damage towards top mid or tabs in this time. Chunk down to 60, res on to 70 as part of that exchange. Passive defense over towards A and B with a three-man pincer. One short, one connector, one towards window. Big's configuration right now may indicate a bit of an A split. You can see them just going through their standard utility. One towards Palace, one towards A ramp, three towards middle at this juncture. Rez has been smoked off. Can no longer contest towards mid, but we'll have to be wary of window where he's punished previously. Has Plopsky in tow towards that vent room. They'll need to clamp down on a couple here as they come through the connected position. This is a matter of time when the smoke fades. They're pivoting through. Seeing the feet, grabs one. Nork's got another. This is falling apart for Big. Good shooting from Tizian, trying to claw them back in. Hampus needs to win this duel to confirm the round, and he's been forced off by the molly. Very low. Keto revealing his position through the tracer fire enables Hampus to contribute even more. 35 seconds. Bombs loose. Tizian will arrive. And Twist is actually taking him down. That's big. Centaurus needs a multi-kill. Twist is the one to pop off with his own. Takes two and finally gets rid of that Galil and upgrades the Kalashnikov for round six. This is a weird back and forth within the early stages here. Five rounds, a couple of which are very, very odd. NIP winning a bit of a steal, big with one of their own, and now it feels like we'll get underway with the standard gun rounds. But there's not a lot of bite to this. It's slowish pace, and then they're limping out. A couple of smoke gimmicks try to take advantage of there, seeing if they can catch a timing. Only so many positions that those mid players can watch as the misdirection is clear, but you can see now it will be another weird buy. Sirison doesn't even have a gun right now. Uh, is that bugged? Can we go to Sirison for a second rush? He literally has nothing. What on earth? Okay, well, they're setting up for B right now. Spamming through the smoke. Twist gets a freebie. More utility coming through. He's flashed off. The MAC-10 works from Tizian. Finding an entry could be the space they need. Forced forward. Rez finds a trade. There's two on the site. Two more coming from NIP, but Keto standing and delivering. The bomb can fall back. And look at Tabson again. Absolute weasel in the window. That's the full rotate. He's locked down. They're trying to make it very clear that they're on their way right back. Tabson catching one. Knows that CT is a threat. Nork planning to fill that gap as fast as he possibly can. Searson can get across. Warning shot and finished off by Plopsky from the other side of the map. It will fall to Nork though. One versus two. They know where the bomb is. It's in favor of Nork's position and taking a fight. My God, sticking around. Go on, Nork. That's going to get punished eventually. And he loses his life. There's the missing block. Yeah, so just leaving that one at spawn there, Searson. Going in with nothing but the bomb and a bit of utility. Walks away with an AWP picked up by his teammates, and that's thrown across as another weird round. So this was big, forcing into whatever they could and making it work. 
And a very strange turn of events here. It felt like the B commit, then they fell all the way back after showing the bomb. They forced out the rotation, and that's a nice round for Big to win. So some topsy-turvy Counter-Strike here. Haven't stabilized just yet. It hasn't been the force by Wars, but it still felt that way. A couple of big fans there, the big jerseys in the background. Even donning a couple as NIP are looking with their timeout early here, going into round number seven. They even got a double orb set up. Look how weird these buys have been. See here, Tabson with 10 kills. Huge impact from him so far. And Sirison even yet to frag. Zero, one assist, five deaths. Campus, the quietest right now for NIP. Just one kill for him and instrumental on the CT side. Normally taking a lot of room, a lot of space, giving a lot of information. Norkin Twist, the double orps. They're the ones who are looking to find impact here. It'll be Deagles for Hampus and Rez, MP9 for Plopsky. And Twist has been boosted on up. Early positioning over towards B-Holes. Just in the default spread here, nothing too exciting from Big in the early stages. They don't know what type of buy they're going to be up against. And this is why it's so confusing for both teams right now. It's hard to know what to call when you don't even know what the buy is going to look like. And the fact that they've brought out two orbs, one of which is Glass Cannon, is very, very daunting. But if they go for a set A piece where all five players are currently positioned for, this might be the right play. There's two tucked in towards the balcony right now. Ampers will be in rotation from window. Nork needs to do some damage here from Ticket, but it will be a set piece onto A. If they're unable to disrupt this, NIP might just be saving these orbs. Seems like a likely outcome. Using their util to try and separate. Smokes bloom. Molly will force Plopsky forward. And he's actually managed to get one and a half. Maybe Rez can finish off the job. Tucked in, anti-flash, hoping that the softened up Zentaris is the first into the site. He is not. Tucks back in just in the nick of time for Tizian. Ampus trades. Three on three. Those orbs you were talking about, Chad, still posted up. If the Deagle finds Tizian, things get awkward here. This round back and forth. Twist, if he pulls the trigger onto one, he could make it that competitive 1v1. Tapson has the bomb, could be planting at any... Oh, there's two chances Jesus. for Twist there. Yeah, he's been given so many opportunities. He pulled the trigger on neither of them. Now... Does he go for the Hail Mary wall bang? And how precise will it be? Oh, come on. Tabson confirms it even for the third time. This is unconvincing stuff. We'll see the round likely play out in favor of the T's now as they recover even two orbs for the hold. I don't know whether they'll want to bring both through. Yeah, Twist should save this. He got done by timing on a couple of those there. As you could see, he was hoping to find the other teammate while the bomb was going to go down. There's a kill. Better than nothing, that's the first bullet he fired. And it was a dead-on shot, but can't contest that one. And it was looking good for a moment there, but not going down towards spawn. Sirison finally gets his first kill as well. A bigger up to five. NIP, they went all in there. They will have to take a save. I don't think they have too many options left, as you get the highlights of that round. Hampus making this one awkward, playing around the smokes, and that is what stalled Big out. And I thought there might be some real problems there because the smokes on the site had faded. If Nork had lived towards CT spawn, then maybe he would have been able to deny that plant. But him going down, you can see his reaction on your screen right here. Not the greatest in the world, as Twist is unable to get anything done in that two-on-one situation. And away we go. Just that ult from Twist. He's quick towards middle, fast towards short, smoked off. He thinks forward of it, and Tabson finds him continuing this damage. 12 kills now for Tabson, 135 ADR, just putting the pain train down. And if NIP can't get this AWP, this round is basically done. Yeah, they're looking for it. They're trying to get the room. Sirius and punishing that. It's just USPs and the Deagle here. You wouldn't be looking at NIP to pull a magic rabbit out of the hat here or around. Footsteps have been heard. Rez is known. They're hiding the AWP now. I want to make sure that they don't get their hands on this to carry it forward because they won't be able to afford one of their own and just mopping this up quite cleanly. Bigger looking good. Bigger looking very good, especially after how Nuke fell in the favor of NIP. They came in with a clear game plan. Six to two. Now we should see the buy from NIP. You can see most players only operating with the low end of 4K, which means low utility. It's going to have to be some heads up Counter-Strike. They're taking their second tactical timeout here in map number three, and it is do or die. Winner of this will go through to the playoffs here to join some of the big names in Counter-Strike right now. we got Vitality, Astralis, Heroic. They're already through. Na'Vi as well, Complexity, Phase. And just earlier today, G2.
with the newest edition of Nika, were able to seal their spot in IEM Beijing 2020. Most playoffs will be starting on Thursday. We have two days off, Tuesday and Wednesday. There'll be no play. As NIP have finished with their timeout, you can see how spotty their rounds are. Stole one away on round three with just some upgraded Deagles. Lost to the force by back again and then made it work on round five, but it's been pretty much one-way traffic, all led by Tapson. And here we go. What's NIP's approach? Will they take the fight to big? Still got Tizian operating on a Galil. Doesn't even feel the need to upgrade to an AK right now. And it's double underpass push. That's exactly it. They have to take the fight here, and it's Tizian on the other side. Have you regretting this Galil? Damaged up and dead. So that's a good opening for Nip. Yeah, but it turns out NIP pushing and destabilizing Big's default setup works well. Centaurus nearly going down and confirming the round in favor of the ninjas already. Sis, it is in Palace, and if he finds this, which he has, twist open down, and now the bomb can go down as well. Plopsky's advancing into the orbs line of fire, and he's actually holding that line. He has the confidence thanks to Tapson in jungle. So he could just sit here and collect. Oh, wow. It was only a slither shown by Plopsky, but Searson seems very capable of punishing, and so does Tabson as he collects Nork's retreat. And that's Big Clan making quite a statement. Oh, Rez, 6 HP. What are you meant to do with this one? Three-on-one situation, he will be saving if he can. You can see already Big are starting to look for a couple of frags, but because they knew there was underpass aggression, Big knew they could take space, and by doing that, they set Searson up for success. Two kills for him. One for Zantaras, one for Tabson, and even though they lost that early number advantage with Tizian going down, it doesn't matter. That's big onto seven, and this is happening very, very quickly. It doesn't feel like NIP have really been able to stabilize into this game due to a couple of risks they took in the buys earlier. And those are always chances you take on the CT side when you wrestle for econ uh, economic control and you don't win. You're staring down the barrel of max loss bonus. It's never enough to buy, and look how quick you like it. Just a jiggle. Sorry, mate. Try again next round. Big might want to close this one down quickly. It has been quite the series. NIP, can there be a late resurgence? We've seen them be stoic, especially on Vertigo. They came back from quite the disadvantage. And that vent not being broken, pointed out by Rush, means that if there is any boosts towards the window, they won't be able to rotate behind them. Rez is forced forward. Look at him go. The flash from Hampus was perfect, using the smoke to guise the pop. Klopsky. Oh, no. Has he gone unchecked? Two of them have jumped past him. He does well to find something. They're into the B site. Keto looks to plant. They've got loads of time, but they'll get it down now and shave some time off it. Two rotating in, using underpass to advance towards oh, the farmers. In fact, three, yeah. How do you make this work? Oh, lots of footsteps. Nork's gonna try, try and make some space here. He's gonna be a martyr for the team. And Twist is the one to try and put the bow on. He gets the info. That's important. Tizian, however, the crossfire is clear. He's tagged. Keto doesn't know about the kitchen. They're so paranoid about it. Rez trying to take space, and eventually Keto finds him. Twist is staring at this. It's not the round. This will be Big Clan finding an eighth. Nice. Double for Tizian and Keto in the after plant. Eight to Big Clan. Two to Nip. This CT side is really having its fair share of woes. Those little spots of aggression have been promising, but Big definitely looking like the more structured squad. I think I can count NIP's full gun rounds in this game with two fingers. I was going to say on one hand, but <laughs> with 10 rounds played, they've hardly had any full buys. And this is, I think, the second that we've seen. So diffuse kits, orps, rifles for everybody, still lacking a little bit of utility, but we need rounds, NIP. Don't go out like this. You had a great showing on Nuke. Oh, yes, seriously. Yes. Oh. He's a threat, consistent threat. And you know, like if I was to make an observation about Big, I feel like they've, they've got some of the most consistent individuals in terms of what you get. I think Tabson and Searson might be the two on the tip of my tongue in terms of players that seem to consistently deliver to the form that's expected of them. In stark contrast, I think, you know, perhaps eyes on Zantara's to find a bit of that consistency. He's kind of like the, you wake up and maybe you get him, maybe you don't. Yeah, exactly, you get right. Plopsky has been successful in finding Searson, so now with three left, the CTs are spread a little thin and Keto's already got full B-side control. He actually plays ahead of his own smoke grenade, oh, and this is so aggressive. This is such dominance. They've even got their Lurker walking out and finding the Orpa. That doesn't get much more dreamy for Zantara as he hasn't hit the shot, and Snork has. Wow, well handled as Zantara's tried to jump over the scope. 
Why does it feel like NIP are never defending a bomb site? It always feels like Big are just walking in with so much space and getting punished in transition. NIP can't catch a break. And I guess losing all these opening duels as they have been doing, or even with some of them that they've won, they just haven't been able to fortify any of the bomb sites here. Big have got the bomb down again. They're looking good for nine. They're looking fantastic in this half. NIP have to save. They really need these guns now. The max loss bonus, 3,400 time and time again. It doesn't warrant you with many buys. They think the double orb will be the solution, and Plopsky needs to make sure he doesn't miss here because a couple of players are coming his way. Keto and Tabson bounding towards Plopsky's orb. Gets the first, backs on out, but he has to worry about top mid. Look who's coming, Tizzy, and he's fast on this, and Plopsky will just avoid him. So they hold on to both AWPs. They can drop some guns across. They can have a buy round, but I might even call another timeout here if I was threat just to talk things through because nine to two, not a scoreline anyone would be proud of. Being bully, getting punished. Yeah, I mean, that's bullying, isn't it? When Keto's doing that smoke and jumping through the window on you, you are being pushed around. This is bullying of the cyber degree. Time for round 12. Twist is the only one here who hasn't been able to get a gun. They've actually carried the double orc for Hampus. And Rez has found a kill, looking for more. Oh, caught in transition, trying to pick up the other weapon. Too tricky. It's a good shot from Nork. He's handled Centaurus' ramp swing. And, uh, well, with the bomb going B, I have a horrible sneaking suspicion that this 3v4 still favors Big Clan. There's no one on B. Like, this is what I'm talking about. NIP have just given up that bomb site completely. They're rotating one back now, but... It favors, like, the Big Clan mid take here. I don't know whether... Oh. <sighs> doesn't even need tabs and so his position has not yet been revealed if he gets himself into window this is a weird a pincer from palace he's actually going for connector Plopsky. yeah that's more than he bargained for buddy tabson goes down keto can trade from palace nork reveals he's still holding ramp aggressive how does keto bail himself out of this one a two on two against two orps on either side of the map searson if he catches hampers he can plant b it's an if it's a big if Oh, wow, the timing could be perfect for Hampus. Seriously? Searson wasn't looking. Both with pistols out. Yeah, this is a very kooky one. That's the bomb as well. And Searson's bailed himself out. Oh, wow. And now it does come down to Nork and Keto, who's also won his quick scope duel. So it comes down to the flashy orpers. He's got a smoke and a kit, which makes it very difficult for Searson to play this after plant passively. Obviously, he's unawares of that. Safe assumption you could make, though, and actually peeking into the window, Searson. What a round, and what a gamer he is. That puts the 10th on for Big Clan. He does it almost effortlessly. The, fact, the fact that he pushed through the window, knew he could hedge the rotate. Listen, look at this duel with Hampus. 9 so HP, silly. by the way. 9 HP, and just as he hears the molly, he knows he's not going to be ready for the fight. But what's Hampus doing in that situation? Know. Why is he throwing a nade? He had an AWP as well. Scope up, post up, at least give yourself a chance in the duel. Like, you can sit there and giggle while with scope on yeah. saying uh, the bomb's in CT and I'm staring at it. Imagine if he goes down there. How does Keto get back over, into dude. that round? Round's over. Run away through spawn. Dire straights right now. NIP up the creek without a paddle. <laughs> 10 to 2. How quick has the oxygen been sucked out of the room here? I'd be feeling hot under the collar right now. Pushed it. You used Nuke to get to this point. Here you can see Nork leading the charge with 10. But Hampus was the individual who we've seen them play this a couple of times. And when he's been good, so have NIP, but he's not being good right now. Unable to find that impact, the gambles that he's taking. Well, doesn't even feel like there are any gambles to take at this stage. They've had to invest at least partially. MP9s, Deagle, M4 on Twist. They've taken some space, but the wrong place again. Nobody up towards B apps, mid control. They need to make sure they capitalize on all this early info. They can't just give away deaths again one at a time. NIP need to start finding some cohesion and trades because big, they're the ones who are stringing this out. They're playing the mid rounds. They have all the territory. Nork thought he had a bit of a surprising position there, but Centaurus is not taking any chances. He checks every single line. Ampus has a chance to destabilize. Look at this. Keto's covered that, actually. Just when Searson's unawares, the push is held. That's a smoke for CT, I think, that Searson's lining up right here. So this would be a 
Or maybe a walk, a run, and a jump. And there's the push. So that's been spotted. Sirius will be on high alert right now, turning his head around. They do get the nades off. Hampus is held back by a HE. They've picked up the bomb, and away they go. They're just going to head on to B. They know oh. all that space towards B apartments is taken. What is this last minute pivot? And well, it makes sense because Zentaris has caught the ramp aggression. Plopsky's even been hit by the warning shot. And uh, yeah, this is a Hail Mary if ever I saw one. When you commit to your MP9 spray, when you've got two targets, long range, that's a man that doesn't believe the round could be won. And Hampus, well, pretty much confirms that. Damn, big clan. They really are unhappy with that new gloss. <laughs> 11 to 2. Oh, dearie me. Look at him go <laughs> right now. I mean, that's 16 to 7. It must stick out like a sore thumb to them. Not forgetting the previous head to head was much more big clan's uh, new game. So it seems they've come into Mirage and are really just making NIP look silly here. That's 11 on the T side, and they ain't done. Oh, this is the last chance for NIP. AWP for Nork. There's only two cannon. rounds left. Yeah, this is not good at all. Four is the bare minimum they can get right now, and if they don't get that, well, I already think this one is over, but if they don't get that, it definitely is. Big have not had to sweat throughout many of these rounds whatsoever. Even though some have been close, it's felt like they've always been in control of the late rounds. Faking out towards B, just draining NIP's utility tizzy and even trying to be cheeky with a bit of a one-way smoke through the gap here. And they're even rotating away. So rotation's quite heavy towards the B bomb site. You can see Nork, he's left A, and guess where they're going? Double smoke, very indicative of what their plans are. Hampus, maybe can build upon it. Tabson's How are they already just planting? pushed CT spawn because it feels like NIP don't have any of the site covered. Okay, so that looks like a dead Searson unless Tizian dunks him. He has. Bomb will be planted there on B. This is not the map for Nip. Oh, boy. The comeback was 14 to 6 on Vertigo. That's where they managed to come all the way back from. But this, 12 to 2. This is not the way we were expecting this one to go. We wanted a banger. We wanted a, we wanted a contest. Well, we're getting a bang on one side of things. And up here going out with a fizzle here. 3,400 again. You know the drill. Max loss bonus. I don't even know what I can say at this point. There's nothing. I haven't seen a single round where it's felt NIP have been set up to defend a bomb site whatsoever. And they've won two rounds. I don't even know how they got them on the board. I don't even remember those rounds whatsoever. One of them was with Deagles, maybe. The other was, it was double orbs. It's been so spotty. In control taken with one man, Tabson. They're going to hit the B bomb site. So here we go. This is a chance. Could be the third. Could very well be. One for one into the site. Does look like the bomb will get some space and room to move. And Searson's even caught Plopsky on the cross back. Where's Nork? He's actually in the underpass. Yet to advance. Searson could get caught by this boost, but he seems to be pre-aiming it perfectly, even nading it. Oh, so they've got everything on lock and a tag. Ampus has got a frag. This is getting awkward. Searson needs to clean it up, and he has found Nork. So now things do continue to get a little stressful. Molly stops the push for Kito. Kito's holding firm. Needs a clean kill here, and he's found more than one. He's found both. That's 13. Big clan. Well then, Berlin International Gaming are only three rounds away when we come back from the break.
13, unlucky for some, not for big, I don't think. They've already got themselves the lion's share of the rounds necessary to convert quickly on our third map of our second series today. IEM Beijing has put NIP on the back foot. This is an elimination game and NIP despite, I mean, a, a fantastic performance to push Big Clan on Nuke. 16 to seven, a convincing victory on a map that pointed everything towards a 2-0 of big. But they've come into Mirage and well, Big Clan clearly a little pissed off. They've got themselves 13 of the 16 required, and we are into our second half. I say we, Chad Birchall hanging out. Oh, look at those odds. Yikes. This is a open and shut case in everyone's eyes, but the only ones that can deter that and change that are NIP. Pistol round would be where it starts. They've got a P250 on Nork. I would hazard a guess that that's for the duel on Taquito. CT side of Big Clan is hedging their bets after Tizian's push for info on B-Apps and says there's nobody here. Yeah, this is the right call as well. I don't think Hampus will push past this point. Now that he's seen that it's clear, he thinks it's just a standard hold, setting up the utility from underpass. Maybe the smoke, the flash, and go. Tara's on the timing, may just catch Hampus here. Smoke towards connector. Flash towards short. Four spotted by Keto. He actually stands his ground and doesn't go down. He hasn't hit his shots though. And now some space for the Glocks to work. Hampus fakes the drop off, does re-emerge. Plopsky swings in. They weren't ready for Searson though. And he's made a mess. Doesn't have the bullets. Oh. He still finds Hampus. Last bullet in the chamber. It's not the first time we've seen Searson working well with a few bullets left in the chamber. Here comes Tizian. Yeah, Nork's not ready for that. Keto distracting him as best he can. Keto so low. Very loud, Tizian's gone down. This looks like it will be the NIP start. Getting that third early. Well, not to be Kido's there, and it feels like this game might have a few twists and turns as NIP will pick up the pistol, but De Big want to keep the foot on the throat. They know that NIP have been struggling on this map. If they go for the force by here and they convert, that's the wind out of the sails, and that is the game basically converted. But if they force by in and they lose, you all know what that means. A full save, a chance for NIP to start building a bit of a bank, looking towards that first gun round. You can see the investment coming on through. It will be the Deagles, the Scout. It is a standard force by purchase up against two MAC-10s and three AK-47s. But it doesn't matter. The context of the game is NIP. They need to win every round and win them as cleanly as possible. It's going to be a very difficult one to get back into as Hampus leading from the front up towards Connector Keto just with poor timing there. Has been peppered on down. And that late information means Tabson, he gets caught off guard as well. Last three members over towards B. 
You can see the push towards T-spawn from Zantaras already. He's getting his skates on. It's a five on three situation and there's no way back in. Hampus dealing with the rotation. He will fall. Tizian grabs one. And just wants to hold on to that MAC-10. Susan will keep that scout. Zantaras is going to see what he can find now. Flanking Palace. The bomb's down. We have roughly 25 seconds to go until this one detonates. And I appear happy just to get something, just to get a couple of kills, just to get the bomb down, just to feel like they're in this game. It's not impossible for them to get 13 T-sided rounds. It's just very, very, very unlikely. Human nature starts to play in on this side. The pressure has built for NIP. The elimination on the line. Missing out on playoffs here. Now oh, it's going to sting. Feels like they had a decent tournament. They were close to taking out Heroic in their upper bracket match. Unable to get across the line there. And now they've been met with a big who are playing some inspired Counter-Strike here on Mirage. 13 to 4. Dropping the guns across, making this one work. Note the smokes, note the HEs. Big can still stay competitive in this one. The save has warranted that, and away we go. Smoke towards top cat, it's the same look. Two towards A, three towards B. Dunk nades. Yeah, that's a dream from Hampus. He actually does get caught, and at the same time, oh my lord, Rez Kito has popped off. Rez down to 50 as well, and he's behind the boxes. Tizian's trying to close that gap, and it's being pre-aimed perfectly by Rez. He'll win that duel. Nork makes his presence known. Does Keto get another here? Oh. He's tagged him. He's on for his third Deagle frag. This is a unannounced star performance from Keto. Rez wants to go B with the bomb. Can't blame him. Searson will not have to make a sound cue as he does prepare to deal with that. Rez options of plenty. Keto. He's going to be heard now. See you later, Rez. Thanks for coming. Keto gets four in the round, and it's a huge one. It's the 14th. The bullets in the body letting him know who the boss is right here. Big, look at the money. Look at how they're set up for success in this. One. This is the second. Gosh, oh, what a round. And then even managing to find a ridiculous shot onto Nork. Well, Keto decides it's not going to be a long and arduous task to close the gap. He actually makes the second round work nicely. Now they've got all the weapons they could possibly desire. That's third round, excuse me. The double AWP as well. Keto straight into a big green of his own. Nork, that glass cannon gets tested early. Tabson wants a deep smoke on ramp, but he's just going to drop it very lackadaisical. Of course he is. Look how cheeky he is. Nork's disappeared, but... <laughs> going for the dunk kill. Trying to style on him in the late stages here. A he will be loaded, finish. dude. He, if he gets pushed, he just doesn't have the bullets for this. Oh, seven. Twist is low. Gathering through Palace. I don't like the look of this one. Good smoke from Keto. And actually finds Hampus. That is going to change things now. It looks like it was going to be an A. And here comes the flurry. Out from Palace. Keto swipping to his Deagle. He's done a lot of work with it now. Just getting wall banged through. How is he not dead yet? Finally, Plopsky takes him down. They've got some advantage now. And Tizian and Searson are working all the way back from short. High flash for Zantaras to have a little look. Bomb's still in Palace. He smokes CT. And that spray. Oh, nearly finished off Plopsky, but enabled the same man to find him. Tizian caught through the smoke. The trace of fire used to... Oh, wow. His crosshair placement was good. Oh! Enough. We actually get that down, and now Plopsky's found another one. Here we go. Zantaras is going to have to concede it. And so they continue back and forth. Plopsky's down. Zantaras does keep hold of his info. This is the same way as the first half started for NIP on their CT half. They had a deagle round where they were able to pluck away some miracle shots, and then you could see that they were forced into a save. Now, the key for NIP, at least, they were actually able to hold on to a couple of guns where everybody from Big has fallen just there. That's Tizzy and the only man with enough cash to buy. And Big only needing two more rounds. It is likely they just play this one safe. You can see here, just peppering Keto down, not allowing him to pick from behind that firebox. And there's Plopsky with another through the smoke. So all in all, the Trace is giving them away. And NIP, they get five, but now it's about making this look respectable. Otherwise, it would have been a bit of a pantsing. That's going to be heavy presence towards middle. Jumping out towards the underpass will be Keto. Up 
towards Caddis Hampus. He's the only man for the job here as the rest are heading on towards B and he's about to hit a rude shock as there are five CTs around him, next to him, above him, below him. And they're chasing. Hampus is trying to stop this rotation, but it should be an NIP round. The bomb will go down any second. There it is. Hampus has fallen and Blopsky to mop this up. They need to slow this one down, Nip. They're actually giving away a lot of jewels, taking a lot of action here. The AK was picked up, dealt with by Rez. Now this one should cool on down. I'm going to run boost Sirison across just to see if he can find anything more. Damage is good. And there you go. Shooting gallery for Rez from that bench position. Sirison it's holding onto the AK. quite nice to save an AK, considering one of them, if not two of them, are on the 2K mark. So 2400 doesn't translate to a nice set of util. It'll set, help bolster the numbers for his squad. That is if he holds on to it. Twist is working his way towards him. I think he... Haven't quite got the time. It's advancing, Ooh. going loud on the bomb sound. And Searson loses it. Nice. Good steal. All right. Well, the orb can come back out. Tizian has enough to drop that across to Searson. The scoreline 14 to 6. The buy for big should be decent. Guns are dropped. Everybody looking pretty. Utility on point. The double orb set up to note again. So Kito really wanting to rock this and this time facing over towards the B bomb site. Looks like they're opting to shift the AWP's positions here on the CT side. NIP heading back towards A. Amp is found, trying to do the job of the in-game leader, getting space, drawing the attention. And now, once he's dead and mid is clear, the rest of the big players can turn their attention back towards A, but Rez has taken space. Tabs and too good. That's audible. Antares hears a big pallet rotate. And that looks... God, Searson's using that information to his advantage. He's actually going to confirm that they aren't rotating off and that you should dig into ramp. Zintaras, you know what I'd love? You underhand a smoke, bro, and you play behind in front of it. He hasn't got time for that now. He'll just have to play for the aggression. And I expect Nork to check this with his AWP. Zintaras, you're vulnerable. And that's the easiest Frank Nork's found all day. Bobski losing his jewel, though, Tamps. Oof, he was <laughs> He does. They'll nade it off. He'll throw one right into the nose of Nork. Look at this. And Searson, I rarely... Oh! Sweet Jesus. That jump onto the step actually cost him his life. He didn't stabilize in time. And now what would have been locking down the T-spawn is a 2v2. 45 seconds. Oh, Tabson so cheeky. As long as Tizian doesn't buy, uh, die, Tabson set up. That'll do, Tizian. That'll do. Doesn't need more. 30 seconds. He's given him the fight. And the spray isn't there. Now they can go wherever they want. And they're running into Tabson. Oh my God. They're running into him. Perfect. The boat oh! goes. He isn't in the shot. That's lovely stuff. Tabson finds the 15 through pure brain power. Get played. God, the info pushes from Big have been such a problem for Nip. And they can take these risks. When you're up 14 to 6, of course, throw a couple of rounds like this. You don't need to sit back. You don't need to be static. Like, look at Nork. Like, it, it was a 50-50. He's knife out. He makes the call. It's too late. They're both <laughs> around the corner. Uh, oh. Cheeky smile from Zantara's there. And yeah, I think the writing's on the wall for the ninjas here. Mac 10s to defend their honor. This is the NIP. New breed being eliminated by Big Clan here at IEM Beijing. They've lost a player. Plopsky gone, forced onto his 18th death. That's a big frag from Twist. He has bailed them out. Searson, however, finding Rez at the same time. Now pressure needs a quick scope, hits it. Searson, such a threat. He's finding Nork eventually. Should be Tabson to pick up the pieces. Hampus has 13 HP and a dream. A one versus two to avoid elimination. Bombs loose on the site. Hampus's chances enhanced a little bit by the FAMAS recovery, but... I'm afraid this one is cooked. Failed his connector smoke. And he's gone. 16 to 6, a dominating performance in response to losing Nuke. And that's Tapson with a victory dance and Big Clan in the playoffs. They like that. They like that very much. Those dominant in the online era pick up a big win against the big squad. NIP eliminated. Big Clan 